Hi, welcome to Jerusalem's Playroom. As you can see, I have a beautiful doll in front of me. This video here is about role playing and also just want to give you an idea of what to do or what to pack when you're carrying your newborn out for the first time. So we're going to use my doll Chrissy here for an example. As you can see, I have Chrissy in this beautiful yellow outfit. She, in the background, she has a ducky receiving blanket and she has a little ducky in her hand with a striped yellow onesie with a little bib and some little white bottoms matched with some little white socks and that yellow bow that you see wrapped around her that is actually a headband and also she has a headband in her head so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get ready and take Chrissy out for the first time and I want to make sure that I pack the diaper bag with everything that I'm going to need for her while we're out whether it's a four hour two hours or eight hours so let's go ahead and get started well the first thing is Chrissy is two weeks old now so she has her first doctor visit so here I want to make sure that I have everything I need and so we're going to go ahead and get started I'm going to move Chrissy to the side here. I have my diaper bag and on top of my on top of my diaper bag here I have a blanket. This blanket is a little thicker. Uh, the reason why I'm taking this little thick blanket is because in case we go somewhere and the weather is a little different or it's a lot colder I have an additional warm item for Chrissy while we're out. Also inside the diaper bag I brought another receiving blanket receiving blankets just do not have to be for covering up of your baby they can be used as burp cloths they can also be used if you're going to the restroom and you need extra cushion or something to put underneath your baby as you're changing them you have this so I love that extra just having one extra receiving blanket because like I said it doesn't have to be just a blanket it can serve multiple purposes I also here have this burp cloth. Now, even though this is a burp cloth, I'm going to come back to this later and show you another thing that we can do with this burp cloth. Since I'm going to go out and I may be out for a little while, I want to make sure that I brought some food for Chrissy to eat. I went ahead and prepared. These bottles here are actually nine ounces, but I put eight ounces of water in each bottle. And the reason for doing that is because I can get four bottles off of this and I don't have to worry about milk spoiling. I can only make the bottle based on what she's going to drink. So while we're going out, let's say Chrissy starts crying and she's hungry. I can just take half the water, pour it into this, and now I have a full bottle of milk. I went ahead and prepared three of them. But again, like I said, I can do four. Now, some people don't like this, but I do because of the simple fact, like I said, that way I know the, the milk will not spoil because this powder milk usually lasts for about two years. So that way I can just use as I need it. And I'm going to go ahead and put those to the side. I packed also some extra clothing. If she makes a mess in her clothes or if I, uh, she decides my mom or somebody decides they want to babysit her and watch her, she has extra clothes here for the night to keep her to the next day. I have socks, hair bow, I have onesies, an outfit, and I also have a diaper cover in here. In this bag here, Yes, I have a bag inside of a bag, but these are diapers. Now, I like to carry, take the diapers out, and I like to take as many as possible, but sometimes you can't. And again, if something comes up and you need to have extra, you have it here. Now, inside this here, inside of this bag here, I will put like my diaper cream, which I don't have any, but diaper cream will go in here. Um, like your A&D ointment or whatever kind of cream you use. You can put some cotton balls in here. And these containers here are great. These are like breast storage milk containers. And you can use these and put Q-tips in there. But in here I did cotton balls. And also, while I'm changing her diaper, I put an extra rattler in here to keep her amused. And here's my wipes in here also with the diapers. In the bag also, I have a comb and brush just in case if I want to redo her hair and in the zipper part I have my wallet 
and my car keys. Now, the reason why I have my wallet, because the wallet has my ID, my debit card, some cash. That's all I need. And maybe I can put like my lipstick or something in there, chapstick or whatever. The less is possible. And here's my keys. So I don't need a purse because the items that I have here, they're already in here. And I can have her insurance card in here since we're going to the doctor. The last thing that I have in her diaper bag is I love these, these little tins. And as you can see, since Chrissy, I have the little, I really got these bags because of Tiana on them. So Chrissy here has something that can grow with her. So when she gets older, not only am I using this with, as she's the baby, but when she gets older, she can use this as a little purse. But we're going to go ahead and open it up and see what's on the inside of here. I have a thermometer, a nose bulb syringe. I have some cotton balls extra. I have a Ziploc bag with some Q-tips. I have a medicine syringe. I also have an extra pacifier in case I lose the one that's on her. I have some lotion. I have some baby shampoo or baby head to toe wash. And I have two safety pins. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of this back in here because I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you run out of diapers. Well, this burp cloth here is actually what is called a cloth diapers. And if you run out of diapers, you can use this and make your own diapers, which is why I have the two extra safety pins here in the container. Because you never know, you want to always be prepared when you have a baby. Anything can happen. And you want to make sure that your baby is well taken care of and you want to make sure that she stays dry. So I'm going to go ahead and put those back in there. Inside most diaper bags, they do have some plastic containers. Well, plastic, this one here is attached. And you can put soil diapers in here, or you can put wet clothes or anything. But what I did, I have this little bag here. You can get these bags anywhere. Most babies, when they have a bowel movement, it stinks, P-U. So you want to make sure that you discard it in a great way <laughs> by putting it inside another plastic container or bag. If you're going up to somebody's house and you give them this, or you can ask them, hey, I have a dirty diaper. Is there some other way I can discard of it? If you go into a restaurant, you can put it in this bag and throw it in the trash. Or if you're somewhere like at an a event and you just can't get out, a movie theater or something, you can't get out fast enough, then you can always use this and discard it later. So we're going to put this back in the diaper bag. So now, since I went over my diaper bag and I got everything that I need, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back because it's time for me and Chrissy to go. Because after all, she has a doctor's appointment. So I'm going to put everything back in here. And I'm going to make sure I zip the zipper with my wallet in there because I don't want that to fall out. Because again, it has her insurance cards in there. So I'm going to put all her clothes and things back in here and putting them in, in those bags. You got extra bags to put things in. So that way, if, if there's ever, Chrissy ever has an accident, you always have extra bags to discard her dirty diapers or just extra bags to put clothes in, her clothes that gets dirty. So I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to put this on top of here. And so... Now this back diaper bag here is sort of magnetic and you can put less. I put a lot of outfits in there. You may not need a whole lot of outfits, but just in case, you, you know, if something you think you may be out a long a while, you want to make sure your baby is protected and has everything she needs. Now, another thing with these diaper bags, if Chrissy goes over to the babysitter house or the daycare, you can make a bag for daycare. You can make a bag for the babysitter. You can make a bag for your mom's house. So that way you can only just worry about dropping Chrissy off without having to deal with all this time consuming stuff. Because when you have a baby, you have to learn how to manage your time. So I'm going to move this back and bring Chrissy back over here so we can see her. And I think she's just beautiful. 
she is a beautiful little doll. And I know your baby is a beautiful doll too. I'm so happy that you watched this video and I hope that I was able to show you some example of how to pack a diaper bag. You don't need a whole lot, just a little, just a less, less as possible. And again, it depends on how long you're gonna be out. But the main thing is, as you as an adult and as the parent, or role playing, if you're gonna go out, you wanna make sure that you have everything your little doll needs while you're out. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please give it a like if you can. I don't know if you can or not, but thank you again so much for watching Jerusalem Playroom. You have a great day. Bye-bye.